Sleepless nights, images of the shooter and those he killed. That's what raced through her mind after May 31st. It affects me almost every day. But Brittany Jones Mayfield survived. I had several panic attacks. I had several um, issues with anxiety. I didn't go anywhere. I had, I miss like my nephew's birthday, my niece's birthday. Um, my husband tried his best to try to get me to get out, but I just was so scared. A simple fire alarm or loud noise could bring it all back. One of my main memories of the incident is just running into the office and a minute later, the fire alarm going off and just having that confusion of whether this was a fire or something else. She says she tried to return to work but couldn't be anywhere near building two. She says she was offered a transfer to work in the library, but the job included working nights and weekends, which didn't fit into her family's schedule. She started a new job and loves being with her family. She continues to heal and tries to stay positive while moving forward after experiencing an extremely traumatic situation that changed so many lives. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.